All right, guys. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a VAV reheat system and VAV zone control. You may have seen some of the other videos that I've done on this. I thought that I would take a few minutes to do an updated video. This is a VMA controller. In fact, it's a Johnson Controls 1420 VMA controller. This is a zone controller for this particular room. The uh, This particular one has an integrated damper actuator that you can see right there. That shaft sticking out. And basically what these devices are, they're mini PLCs. Uh, they will take the programming, the control set points as far as flow and temperature, and then actuate the damper as well as the reheat valve to maintain the temperature set points. Uh, through here, uh, we can see that this is a connection for the thermostat, which measures zone temperature in the space. This is the dip switches for the addressing. These devices are on the network and can be monitored remotely. And from this device, we have uh, it controlling a reheat valve, which we can see here, the white actuator on top of the valve. Inside here is a coil of the box, and whenever necessary, uh, for heating, the controller will open the valve, allowing hot water flow through the coil and raise the space temperature. Uh, anyways, guys, this is just a brief overview of a VAV with hot water reheat. Uh, there's many different configurations. This is uh, pretty much a standard configuration that we use. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.